Hello, I'm Henry Emery and I'm here at the Multi-Pilot Training Centre at Oxford Aviation Academy's base at London Oxford Airport in the United Kingdom. This is where we conduct our Aviation English Language Training and Testing Services for ab initio and professional pilots, air traffic controllers, cabin crew and maintenance engineers. The ICAO language proficiency requirements were introduced in 2003 and were set as a safety standard for radio telephony communications for pilots operating on international flights and air traffic controllers managing international air traffic. However, with just over seven months to go until full implementation next year, in March 5th, 2011, there is still a long way to go, with many pilots and air traffic controllers yet to meet the minimum level of ICAO Level 4 in speaking and listening. Hello, I'm Andy Roberts. Now, there's three basic elements that people in training, whether they're pilots or air traffic controllers, need to be thinking about. Obviously there's the training itself in order to get people up to level four and beyond. There's the testing and then once people have actually, main, have, have actually obtained that level then there's making sure that they either maintain or increase that level. So from the point of view of training we have Aviation English, um, the course book that comes complete with the, the CD-ROM and the audio CDs. Uh, this is being used throughout the world now and is I think probably the world's most popular courseware for people who are training to, uh, in order to obtain ICAO level 4. We have the training um, but also people have to go and, and take a test somewhere. Now the test needs to be a credible test, it needs to be one that's been approved by a local authority and it needs to be one that follows the ICAO recommendations. Uh, we've developed our own test, the uh, English Test of Aviation in partnership with Oxford Aviation Academy. Like the training materials that we produce, uh, the test as well, we've thought that it's not enough to just have language input, we have to have input from the professionals as well. Uh, and that's what we've uh, endeavoured to do with the English Test of Aviation, as we did with Aviation English, which was checked throughout um, by pilots and controllers from all over the world. Now Check Your Aviation English, which is a new publication, um, is one that's going to be very, very useful for people if they're preparing for a test in order to get their level 4 rating. Um, it doesn't matter what test it is, if you look at the basic requirements that are needed for the speaking and listening, there's certain fundamental skills that people are going to be assessed on. Now Check Your Aviation English actually enables people to, to practice, to check whether they are at the right level or to prepare themselves for taking such a test. But of course it's not only useful just from the point of view of preparation for a test, it's also useful once you get to level four. It may be that you're not tested again for, for two, three or five years, however long it may be. Now we don't want those skills to, to go into decline. We need that level of English communication to keep up to the level that it is or even improve. And for that reason, Check Your Aviation English can be very useful as a refresher um, self-study book or it can be used in classes itself.